Thanks for staying here on Newsdesk. Police at Abra Dunkwao will this morning put a 50-year-old man who defiled two teenagers at different locations in a day at a Dunfa in the central region before a Cape Coast Circuit Court. This incident brings to three defilement cases recorded by the police in one week at a Dunfa. On Friday, the police also arrested a 28-year-old man who defiled a six-year-old girl in the same community. Richard Kojonyako has more. Two teenagers who were in junior high school at Edufa, according to the police, were allegedly defiled at different locations by a 50-year-old man. One is said to have been defiled in the 50-year-old's apartment, while the other 40-year-old was defiled at a different location. It makes it two crime scenes, two defiled girls, two separate defilement cases, but one suspect. Abadunko District Police Commander DSP John Paul Akonde tells Joy News his medical report of the two and the witnesses in the case will support the charges of the farm and being pressed by the prosecuting police team. We had two ladies who were four within the ages of 14 years to different places, two crime scenes that I'm talking about, and made had had called hard canal knowledge of them, which to our uh, had called for the law. Yes, the farming case are uh, two separate cases, but one suspect. And as I speak to you, the person has been remanded into uh, prison custody and investigation is almost done. Also before the court in Cape Coast will be the case of the six-year-old who was defiled by a 28-year-old relative. Richard Kujinyako, Joy News, Cape Coast. The Inter-Ministerial Tax Force on Illegal Mining over the weekend nearly clashed with a military team providing protection to a licensed mining company allegedly engaged in illegal operations. Nawara Mining Company is said to be using alluvial mining methods at Inswaprim in the Fantiaqua district of the eastern region in a breach of a buffer zone arrangement along River Brim. The soldiers will, however, not allow filming of the arrest and subsequent confusion and attempted to obstruct the work of the task force. You're watching Joy News Desk with me, Benis Abubedulan. So do stay with us from the late for the latest from the world of business.